What is MAOB? MAOB, also known as monoamine oxidase B, is an enzyme that lies on the mitochondrial outer membrane that catalyzes the oxidative deamination of biogenic amines and the neurotransmitter dopamine. Shown here is phenylethylamine, benzylamine, and dopamine. All in common of these substrates are the phenyl aromatic ring and the amine group located at the end of a hydrocarbon chain. Phenylethylamine, shown in the top left, acts as a central nervous stimulant on dopamine releasing neurons to increase their ability to release dopamine. Dopamine, shown on the bottom, is the main neurotransmitter involved in several pathways such as motivation, reward, attention, and energy. MAOB is a dimer of two identical polypeptide chains, each consisting of 520 amino acids. Approximately the last 31 amino acids in each subunit forms an alpha helix that is responsible for the integration into the mitochondrial outer layer membrane as depicted here. The active site of each subunit contains an entrance cavity depicted here and a substrate cavity depicted here. The hydrophobic nature of the amino acid surrounding this cavity prevents water from entering the cavity. Four important amino acids are responsible for the separation of these two cavities, namely tyrosine and phenylalanine, as well as leucine and isoleucine, whereas isoleucine residue acts as a gate in the sense that it can be in an open or closed position, allowing substrates to move from the entrance cavity into the more active substrate cavity. Each subunit also contains a covalently bound FAD molecule, also known as flavin adenine dinucleotide. This prosthetic group is oxidized in a reaction with oxygen gas to create the reactive oxygen species hydrogen peroxide in the pathway of oxidizing its substrates. The main activity of MAOB is driven by the oxidation of the FAD molecule, shown here in yellow, in its reaction with the substrate such as dopamine or phenylethylamine. The aromatic rings of tyrosine-435 tyrosine-398, the adenine portion of FAD, and the flavin aromatic ring system allows for the close interaction between FAD and the substrate. This specific arrangement of aromatic rings is known as an aromatic cage, and it is mainly what drives the association between FAD and the substrate in its deanimation. The mechanism of action of MAOB is not fully understood in the sense that bio and organic chemists do not fully agree on what molecules of FAD are responsible for the interaction with the substrates such as dopamine and phenylethylamine, although most biochemists agree on the generalized pathway. In this pathway, the first step involves the FAD molecule accepting two electrons in a hydrogen atom from the substrate's amine group. This reaction in turn produces a double bond between the nitrogen of the amine group and the carbon that it was bound to, also known as an imine, which places a positive charge on the nitrogen. In the next step of this reaction, a water molecule drawn into the active site by the negative charge on FADH and the positive charge on the nitrogen, donates a hydrogen atom to FADH and an oxygen to the carbon atom of the substrate, which in turn produces an ammonia molecule and an aldehyde version of the substrate. 
In the final step, oxygen gas is reacted with FADH2. In order to oxidize FADH2 back into FAD, which in turn produces the reactive oxygen species H2O2, also known as hydrogen peroxide. MAOB is one of the most heavily implicated enzymes in Parkinson's disease progression and ultimate deterioration of neurons. Over the course of aging, levels of MAOB naturally increase, which will in turn result in more reactive oxygen species, which in higher concentrations contribute to apoptotic cell death. In turn, cells that are responsible for reducing dopamine will end up dying, which will in turn lead to a decreased availability of dopamine in the brain, which results in the negative and positive symptoms of Parkinson's disease, such as decreased cognition or the tremor that is present in the hands and legs. Pharmaceuticals used to prevent MAOB's function include drugs that will covalently bind to the FAD molecule and prevent its ability to transfer electrons from substrate to itself, which will in turn prevent reactive oxygen species from being produced and dopamine from being depleted. Shown to the right is a schematic that shows that dopamine is released from the neuron in vesicles into the synaptic cleft where it will act on the postsynaptic neurons membrane and bind to a receptor and produce the response. However, dopamine is also reuptaken back into the dopamine producing neuron where MAOB is found on the mitochondrial membrane where the activity of inhibitors will prevent its degradation so that the reactive oxygen species do not destroy these cells and so that there is more dopamine available. Shown here is MAOB in complex with a selective reversible inhibitor. FAD, shown in the center right here, is covalently bound to the inhibitor as shown here. This binding prevents the active transfer of electrons from the substrate to the FAD molecule, which prevents and shuts down the catalytic activity of MAOB. The future of MAOB research includes its function on neurodegenerative disorders such as Alzheimer's and Parkinson's, as well as its role in aging. Several studies have shown that people with decreased levels of MAOB activity have no apparent negative symptoms except an increased concentration of phenylethylamine in their urine. While this could potentially have deleterious effects, there are no known current effects on phenylethylamine concentrations in the brain due to this decreased activity. Thank you for your time and I hope you learned a thing or two about MAOB.